Hi everyone, today's video is a follow on from this project that I made in the kickoff workshop for Eileen Hull's Comfort and Joy event. We made this Christmas caddy with inserts and today I wanted to create something else for this. I wanted to create some little notebooks and I'm going to use the card caddy die to create notebooks so that they're going to match really. Um, I'm going to use if that front of the, the card caddy as the shape for my book and by folding my card in front and lining it up kind of with the top of that because this card caddy element doesn't cut obviously it, it cuts the front and the back of the card caddy and the sort of spine part if I just fold my card in half this is like an A5 sheet of card I've got here if I just line this up so that I've got the top of the card caddy covered, there isn't anywhere that's going to cut at the bottom. So the fold for this is going to stay intact and it means I've got a really nice um, sort of cover for my notebook. So I'm just going to run that through my big shot. And then when I take this out, Obviously, being a big die, it's no problem at all to cut through two layers of card. So I've got a really nice notebook instantly done. So I've made a few of these. And I'm going to work out next how to make some inserts for them. So I've grabbed my ruler. Obviously, I'm in the UK and tend to work in centimetres, but I thought I'll show you the ruler because I know some of you work in inches. And um, because this has got that curve to it, um, I'm looking at the top because I kind of need my insert to fit within that area. So in centimetres, I think it's about eight centimetres by about 13. So um, that's about, th about three by five inches. And what I'm gonna do is cut some white card. So if it's eight across, I obviously need to double that so I can fold it. So I'm going to do 16 centimetres by 13 centimetres. So that's roughly three. Um, so that would be six by five inches. I've scored them down the middle. And then what I also did once I'd folded them, um, you do find when you fold them that the edges aren't even because of the fold. So I did just give them a little trim with my paper trimmer and they fit perfectly. So I'm going to use something that I've had for, <laughs> I'm thinking probably about 18 months and I've never used. I saw this, had to have it, and then I've never used it. Um, and it's a little cradle that um, is going to enable me to pop some holes in. So I'm just lining this up and then I'm going to punch some holes through, which I'm then going to sew. Um, I won't do all this on camera because it's quite hard to see what I'm doing anyway. Um, I'm just going to show you how I line it up because you've kind of got the centre point and handily because you've got that little curved part, it's easy to see the centre. And then I can see how many along. I've kind of started at the centre and, and then counted along three holes and that's where I'm going to punch my holes through. So once I finish this one, I'll do the same for the rest of the notebooks. I'm just going to pop three in, actually. Um, and then what I'm going to do is decorate them a little bit. Oh, I should mention about how I um, what I used just to sort of sew these. I used some um, embroidery thread because that's what I had. And I did a very simple just um, threaded it through and tied a knot. So I've decided on these three colours for my notebooks and I've grabbed a Studio Light um, paper pad that had some pre-done die cuts and I've just selected some of those. I thought rather than get too complicated with the covers of these, I would just put some, some pre-done images on the front. So I'm literally just going to glue these on the front for a bit of interest. And I've picked colours that kind of go quite nicely. And that one's going to be for my cards. Then this one, I think, for gifts. Uh, 
and then this one I will use um, for my food. I, that's why I've put a Christmas pudding on here. I thought I'll put a food image on the one that I'm going to use for my food recipes and shopping lists and things. So I shall pop that on. And then the next step is I do actually want to label all of these. So I've grabbed a Sizzix die set. Um, I have used, um, let me tell you what it's called. It's the Alpha, Alpha Numeric label. It's a Tim Holtz set and it's got lovely small letters. So great for this. Um, it is an older one. It's called Alpha Numeric label and the number of it is 664177 if you want to try and find it. Um, I, I have seen it, I will put a link in the description below actually, because I have seen it at various retailers. It's showing as discontinued at Sizzix, because obviously they do discontinue theirs after a while, but you can generally find things after Sizzix have stopped doing them at retailers for quite some time. So um, I've seen it at Simon's the Stamp and a couple of others. So I'll put links below anyway, because I think this is a really useful font. It's a nice clear one to read. And it's also nice and small. So if you want to create your own labels and things, it's ideal. The other thing about this set is that you get multiples of each letter. So generally, you only need to run through your machine once to get whatever word you need. Because you get, for example, you've got seven A's in this set. Um, four B's, four C's, etc. So the vowels and things, they give you loads. So... Um, as I say, I'll put all the details in the description box for that. So I'm just going to work my way through, pop these on. Um, you definitely need a pair of tweezers and a fine nozzle on your glue to do these because they are quite small, but they, they work really well. And I, and I just like the simplicity of this font. So that's my three notebooks done, all ready to go into my little caddy and all ready for me to start writing out all my ideas for Christmas. If you haven't already been to Eileen's page to see what everyone else is up to this week, do that because there are so many talented people taking part in this event this week and you're going to get so much inspiration. It, head over to Eileen Hull's blog or to her Facebook group, which is the Eileen Hull Fan Club, and you'll find all the info there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.